This is Blodgett, room 029. It's a small room. It does not have an installed webcam. Instead, it has this desktop conference camera. There's also a touchscreen panel for controlling the projection system of the room. The first thing you may want to do is to wake up your computer if it's asleep by tapping the keyboard or moving the mouse. And then we recommend that you log in, not with your own login information, but with the guest login, which is username class guest password VC guest lecturer. If you're going to be using the projection system, you may need to wake up that touch panel as well and then tap it again to start the equipment. If you're going to be projecting from the classroom computer, which is the computer you should be using if you're going to be conducting a Zoom session, make sure that your source is Mac PC. I'm going to run the Zoom session now by clicking on the Zoom icon in the dock. You might access your Zoom session some other way, such as by a link on your Moodle site. You'll need to sign into Zoom, sign in with SSO. And in this case, you will be using your own username and password so that you can log into your Zoom account. Now you should have a pre-scheduled Zoom meeting, but I don't have one of those today, so I'm just going to start a new meeting. And when I turn on video, you'll see that the initial camera input is the built-in camera on the Mac on the instructor's desk. However, if I click on the little arrow next to the video button, you can see that I'm currently using the FaceTime camera. But I can switch to the conference room camera. which is this one on the instructor's desk. The desktop camera has some pan controls, panning left, right, up, down. And can zoom. So this works pretty well for capturing what I'm writing on the sideboard. And of course you could Hand it over towards the front chalkboard. Zoom it out a bit. Because this might be where you're doing a lot of your teaching. And you can even just physically turn the camera around if you want to get, for instance, a view of your students who might be talking. When you're finished, course, end your Zoom session. Sign out of Zoom. And anything else you might be signed into. And in fact, the safest thing that you can do is actually restart the computer to make sure that you're logged out of everything. If you've been using the touchscreen panel for the projection, you can power that off as well.